Daar komt ze, plaatsnemend op het derde trapje van dit podium. Well done, Lisa. Third place for her, Lisa Renauer. She has a partner. Um, a few mistakes and just go race. Morning. Morning. Morning, dear. But normally kids or nobody. A princess. I have a princess. It's like what they do now in the schools.
<laughs> Common really needs one. And I'm not getting anything. <laughs> um, you have, you have your, Julie, you have your little app on your phone, no, Candy? I don't have it. I get what you need, and then you stay with them as long as possible. You're doing a really hard job. This, like, your job is super important because then they don't have to focus on it or no. Yeah, it's all day. You, maybe you don't win the race in the first 10 Ks, but you could make your maybe difference. Follow. Yeah. But if it's you guys, you will start attacking. And Lisa will tell you. Lisa will say, mm -hmm. okay, now in the first attack, you need to assign to maybe, I don't mm. know, but you have to see how everyone yeah. feels because most likely the first person it sets the next person up for going away. I don't even know if it's yeah, it looks like a great crown. So, but it's, yeah, I mean, you have to, you, we have to see in that scenario, because we can talk about, I think, a hundred different scenarios, but if it's going to be a full sprint and you know it's obvious, then it's Kirsten. If not, if we're a smaller group, we attack. They made a big deal out of saying it in the meeting, that please, one minute. But then it was headwind, so it all came back before we came to the camera. But this time it's crosswind after the this plug streets yeah, so I just I just think that maybe this time it doesn't all come down to the camera but yeah. just be aware it might not even come back after after the plug streets yeah. it yeah. could possibly yeah. not come back yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get super weird with a camera yeah with the wind it's always unpredictable I, you can't say what will happen and with Today it's super, super windy, so I'm hoping for a good race that suits our team. Um, if it's more windy early on, so we will stick to our plan, and I think that's key for the girls is to focus on themselves and not other teams. So hopefully everything goes to plan and we come out ahead. Yeah, so we started with Depane with the same group of girls, minus one, um, and Sarah came in, who's also super strong in this position. Um, we reconned the course yesterday. They know what's happening. They know we also did the course last year. It was the same one, so a lot of girls repeat. Um, and it should be a, a super day. And yeah, fingers crossed everything goes to plan. <laughs> Yeah, I look on the I look on the map and look what the wind is like, and then obviously there's some sections I know, or I think are more open, so I think they're more prone to um, yeah being dangerous, of course, and especially then if you're going from the crosswind section and into the tailwind section, it's even more dangerous. So uh, yeah, I think we just need to be prepared. But on a day like today, it looks like we probably have I don't know crosswind 120 out of 142 k's or something crazy. So. Uh, you just have to stay alert all day and whenever there's a corner coming up you need to really be aware of um, everyone around you especially seeing if teams gather and if a team is gathering going up towards a corner it often means they will put it in the gutter when you turn around
today was a really tough day. Uh, there were crosswinds right from the start and so it was this day where you always had to be in a good position, in the right move and never too far back and um, it's just a super hectic kind of race. And um, so we went on a lot of small roads and um, wind was blowing super hard so the peloton split. And, um, then uh, we came to the climbs for the first time, like, yeah, the camel is now probably the most popular one of them. And um, <clears throat> I couldn't really follow directly with the attack of Elisa Longoborghini that happened there, but I was directly there afterwards. So um, uh, the, the peloton regrouped afterwards and uh, we went into the final with some sand, sand roads and um, another crosswind section with a pretty good, uh, pretty big group. Mm -hmm. um, but then going back into the hilly part, it all split up again. And uh, luckily, I've been with my teammate Maria Giulia Confalonieri, and so we were together um, just behind the front group, and we made it back. So we found each other and um, spoke about the final. Uh, how we wanted to approach it and I yeah she did super good work for me in the final there was a uh, two riders up the road uh, and uh, we really needed to close this gap and she just went to the front and pulled it full gas back and so no way I could have done it without her and it was just super great to see and I was already like, I was so tired going into the sprint but when I saw her doing this for me, I thought, okay, Lisa, now you really have to do it. And um, I'm just really happy with the podium. And um, I think uh, we can be as a team happy with the outcome. And uh, yeah, just thank you team for the great work today. Yeah, we thought uh, maybe they were not pulling strong enough to close it and a few kilometers before we decided uh, we were going for Lisa in the sprint. So when I saw they still had a quite good gap, you know it was tailwind so it was difficult to close. If you don't pull full gas, I say now I go full gas with everything I had and I know I knew Lisa had the legs to do the sprint and it was close for, for the win but still uh, third place was super good results.